Atopy, Wikipedia article audio. Atopy is a predisposition toward developing certain allergic hypersensitivity reactions. Atopy may have a hereditary component, although contact with the allergen or irritant must occur before the hypersensitivity reaction can develop. Maternal psychological trauma in utero may also be a strong indicator for development of atopy. Signs and Symptoms Pathophysiology The term atopy was coined by Coca and Cook in 1923. Many physicians and scientists use the term atopy for any IgE-mediated reaction, but many pediatricians reserve the word atopy for a genetically mediated predisposition to an excessive IgE reaction. The term is from Greek tau omicron pi alpha meaning placelessness. Atopy is a syndrome characterized by a tendency to be hyperallergic. A person with atopy typically presents with one or more of the following, eczema, allergic rhinitis, or allergic asthma. Some people with atopy display what is referred to as the allergic triad of symptoms, i.e. all three of the aforementioned conditions. People with atopy also have a tendency to have food allergies, allergic conjunctivitis, and other symptoms characterized by their hyperallergic state. Eosinophilic esophagitis is found to be associated with atopic allergies. Atopy may appear associated with an undiagnosed non-celiac gluten sensitivity. Atopic syndrome can be fatal for those who experience serious allergic reactions, such as anaphylaxis, brought on by reactions to food or environment. The individual components of atopy are all caused at least in part by allergy. Therefore, Atopic responses appear after the body is exposed to various allergens, for example pollen, dander, dust mites, certain foods, or chemical-slash-physical irritants. Although atopy has various definitions, in general, it is defined by the presence of elevated levels of total and allergen-specific IgE in the serum, leading to positive skin prick tests to common allergens. Causes Atopic reactions are caused by localized hypersensitivity reaction to an allergen. Atopy appears to show a strong hereditary component. One study concludes that the risk of developing atopic dermatitis or atopy in general increases by a factor of two with each first-degree family member already suffering from atopy. As well, Maternal stress and perinatal programming is increasingly understood as a root cause of atopy, finding that, trauma may be a particularly robust potentiator of the cascade of biological events that increase vulnerability to atopy and may help explain the increased risk found in low-income urban populations. Environmental factors are also thought to play a role in the development of atopy, and the hygiene hypothesis is one of the models that may explain the steep rise in the incidence of atopic diseases, though this hypothesis is incomplete and in some cases, contradictory to findings. This hypothesis proposes that excess cleanliness in an infant's or child's environment can lead to a decline in the number of infectious stimuli that are necessary for the proper development of the immune system. The decrease in exposure to infectious stimuli may result in an imbalance between the infectious response elements and the allergic response elements within the immune system. Genetics Some studies also suggest that the maternal diet during pregnancy may be a causal factor in atopic diseases in offspring suggesting that consumption of antioxidants, certain lipids, and slash or a Mediterranean diet may help to prevent atopic diseases. The multi-center Parsifal study in 2006, involving 6,630 children age 5 to 13 in five European countries, 
suggested that reduced use of antibiotics and antipyretics is associated with a reduced risk of allergic disease in children. There is a strong genetic predisposition toward atopic allergies, especially on the maternal side. Because of the strong familial evidence, investigators have tried to map susceptibility genes for atopy. Genes for atopy tend to be involved in allergic responses or other components of the immune system. C110RF30 seems to be the most relevant for atopy as it may increase susceptibility to polysensitization. Staphylococcus aureus Bleach baths provide temporary control of eczema. Ciprofloxacin is an allergen that may cause contact dermatitis symptoms of which are indistinguishable from eczema. Filigrin mutations are associated with atopic eczema and may contribute to the excessive dryness of the skin and the loss of the barrier function of normal skin. It may be possible that the filigrin mutations and the loss of the normal skin barrier expose crevices that make it possible for Staphylococcus aureus to colonize the skin. Atopic eczema is often associated with genetic defects in genes that control allergic responses. Thus, some investigators have proposed that atopic eczema is an allergic response to increased Staphylococcus aureus colonization of the skin. A hallmark indicator of atopic eczema is a positive wheel and flare reaction to a skin test of S. aureus antigens. In addition, Several studies have documented that an IgE-mediated response to S. aureus is present in people with atopic eczema. Changes in prevalence In adults, the prevalence of IgE sensitization to allergens from house dust mite and cat, but not grass, seem to decrease over time as people age. However, the biological reasons for these changes are not fully understood. Treatments Corticosteroids, for years, there was no treatment for atopic eczema. Atopy was believed to be allergic in origin due to the people's extremely high serum IgE levels, but standard therapies at the time did not help. Oral prednisone was sometimes prescribed for severe cases. Wet wraps were sometimes used in hospitals to control itching. However, the discovery of corticosteroids in the 1950s, and their subsequent incorporation in topical creams and ointments, provided a significant advancement in the treatment of atopic eczema and other conditions. Thus, the use of topical steroids avoided many of the undesirable side effects of systemic administration of corticosteroids. Topical steroids control the itching and the rash that accompany atopic eczema. Side effects of topical steroid use are plentiful, and the people are advised to use topical steroids in moderation and only as needed. Immune modulators Pimacrolimus and tacrolimus creams and ointments became available in the 1980s and are sometimes prescribed for atopic eczema. They act by interfering with T-cells. Avoiding dry skin Dry skin is a common feature of people with atopic eczema and can exacerbate atopic eczema. Avoiding allergens and irritants See eczema for information.